Nicolettes. Welcome back to my channel or hello if you're new. I'm actually kind of excited about this one. I got a request recently. You guys asked to do something around hairy hacks to get rid of that hair, not to be like all hairy everywhere. Who hates shaving all the time and hair is just so annoying to always get rid of and if I could find something that makes it last a little bit longer without me having to shave again or go get waxed or something like that, you know your girl is down and I need to share my secrets with you guys. I found a bunch of different tips and hacks that you can try out that hopefully will work with you and if you guys like it, thumbs it up so I know. I actually did do a shaving hack so long ago so I'll link that video and that's all about shaving and things like that. So if you want to hear different hacks and all about shaving, then go check that video. It will be in the description box for you guys. I also want to say that I'm doing this thing right now over on my Instagram. If you go now and you tell me you're coming from this video and follow me, I will go spam your account as long as it's not private. I hate when I go on your account and they're private because I just feel so, so bad. I feel bad because then I think you guys probably think I'm ignoring you or I'm lying. But honestly, guys, I've been trying to like every single one of you that comment and follow me back because it is seriously the sweetest thing ever and you guys are so beautiful like I cannot get over how beautiful you guys are and I just like to see where you guys live I, I'm such a creeper okay let's just stop with that so make sure you go over to my Instagram and I have all my other social medias as well you can always go over on there too but let's get into it the first hack I think I'm gonna start with is gonna be a little bit of an at-home DIY that you can do it's super easy but this is gonna be a hack to help get rid of facial hair and also just help lighten it so you know if you got a little bit of peach fuzz or you got a little bit of a stash no one's judging this is gonna really help if you keep doing this for a few weeks you will really notice a difference all you're gonna need is lemon juice you're gonna need brown sugar and you're gonna need some clean water and you're gonna need a teaspoon so first you're just gonna take a bowl and you're gonna put two teaspoons of lemon juice and then you're gonna follow that also with two teaspoons of sugar once you're done adding those two you're gonna go in and add pen tablespoons of clean water, put it into the bowl, let it all mix together, mix it until they're fully blended, and then what you're going to do is you're going to, of course, apply it to your face. Though, when you are applying it, make sure you're applying it to the opposite direction of your hair grow. So do it the opposite way, and of course, don't put it on your eyes or anything like that. And I just put it really where I get my peach fuzz on my face. And if you do this two to three times a week, you're really going to notice a difference. And then you're going to let it sit for 15 to 20 minutes before you wash it off with water. And this is just going to really help lighten your hair and you lighten your peach fuzz. But it's also going to reduce your facial hair over time. If you like waxing, I have a hack for you guys. And this is going to be a DIY at home waxing remedy. All you're going to need is get a bowl out. You're just going to mix sugar, honey, and lemon juice into a bowl you can warm it up and heat it up and you're going to apply it to the hair whether it's your arms and your legs and of course you're gonna need some waxing strips or some strips and then you're just gonna wax your arms or your legs so if you don't want to waste so much money always getting waxed it can get quite expensive this is a really good DIY remedy that you could do right from your house and it's super convenient and super easy as well and what I really like about this too it's just super natural you're using all ingredients from your kitchen and I have a problem sometimes when I go to get wax I sometimes get a reaction with the oils that they put after so I really enjoy this one since shaving is the most common method to get rid of that hair and that's something that I typically like to do because it is more cheaper than going to get waxed all the time I have some hacks for you to make your shaving so much better to maybe make your regrowth last a bit longer and even to get rid of those bumps razor bumps those are the worst things I hate it it looks so gross and I just cannot stand rashes or razor burns the struggle is so real so if you are gonna shave it turns out that timing is everything they say that you should shave when you are in the shower and a little bit after your shower because your hair had time to soften and this is the best time to get the best shave it's more of a closer shave as well if you get shaving products that have soy in it it's said to stop the regrowth of your hair so it's really gonna take so much longer to regrow your hair because when you do shave sometimes it can grow back the next day or the next two days and that's just super frustrating to always have to shave every single day and who has time for that because
because I know I don't. <laughs> so if you ever do shave, how many of you guys have ever shaved and you cut yourself? That is seriously my struggle. I just have no patience because you should shave and take your time, but I never have patience and I always end up cutting myself. So a hack I have for you guys is all you need to do is you just need to take a cotton pad and drench it into cold water and you're just gonna hold it onto the cut and this is really gonna help stop the bleeding. So if you ever cut yourself by accident, definitely do that and hold it onto it and you hold it onto the cut and your bleeding will stop. And now moving on to rashes or razor bumps, the worst thing ever. I hate it so much. So a hack I have for you and a natural remedy, I have two that you can try if you want. One of them is just taking honey and applying it onto your razor bumps or your razor burns or rashes, all that stuff, and letting it sit there for 20 minutes before you wash it off with warm water. This is just basically gonna soothe the skin and it's also gonna calm down inflammation. If you don't wanna go through the honey route, then you can also take aloe vera gel and that is something really great especially for the bikini line because that's an area where you do tend to be more sensitive and razor bumps happen and that's never cute when you have to wear a bathing suit or something like that so I suggest getting some aloe vera and applying it onto the razor bumps let it sit there until it dries and then you're just gonna wash it off with some cool water and you can do these methods with the honey and the aloe vera more than once a day you could do it a couple times a day or a few times a day just to see if you get faster and better results when you shave a lot you tend to get these dark spots underneath your under arms especially so I have some at-home natural remedies to get rid of that and to make it not as dark there are three different things you could do you could take some sliced potatoes cucumbers or you can use lemon so for the sliced potatoes all you're gonna do is you're, you're gonna rub it underneath your underarm and you're gonna let it sit for 20 minutes before you wash it off with lukewarm water and the cucumbers is the exact same thing you're gonna take a slice of cucumber you're gonna rub it underneath the armpits I know it's a little bit weird but you know like you, a girl's gotta do what a girl's gotta do right for the cucumbers you're gonna let it sit for 30 minutes before you let it wash off and then for the cucumber and the potato slices you can do this even more than once a day it's not very harsh on the skin but the last one which is a little bit more harsher is putting lemon juice or a wedge of lemon underneath your underarms but you only let it sit for 10 minutes and you could do this method for three to four times a week but definitely not more than once a day and pretty much also after you do this you may need to put moisturizer underneath your armpits because lemon can really dry them out so those are ways that can help lighten those underarms so I got your back girl I'm gonna talk a little bit about natural hair removal creams and also tweezing so I I'm gonna begin first with plucking and to make it just more of a nicer experience something I suggest you do is always to wash and exfoliate the skin wherever you're gonna pluck before you do pluck it's just gonna give you an overall better experience because plucking can sometimes hurt and it's also you're plucking every little hair so that's why it's more time-consuming as well and this is just gonna minimize the discomfort if you wash and exfoliate the skin before you start plucking and then the last one is you can also use a natural creams or to remove remove hairs. I personally have one. I have one which I will be showing you guys right now. It's a Nair cream and it actually works so well as long as your hair is long enough. It works really well but guys it smells so bad. I cannot stand that smell and it lingers on in my room and I honestly cannot stand being in my room with that smell. Like it smells like rotten eggs and farts put together. I know that's like morbid but it's true. If anyone has tried this let me know in the comments down below but I actually have a DIY natural remedy that you could do at home if you kind of want those creams to get rid of your hair. All you're gonna need is one tablespoon of iodine and one cup of baby oil. You're gonna let it sit on your hair, whether it's on your leg or your arm, and then you're just gonna wipe it off and with lukewarm water, kind of like what I do with the Nair one. And of course, when you're trying these creams that help burn off the hair or get rid of the hair, you definitely have to try, test it out on a small patch of your body. Even with the Nair cream, it always says in the back that you should test it out because you can have a reaction action or something like that. I personally love this one from Nair because I, it does the job and it doesn't make my skin react and I have very sensitive skin so I really enjoy this. I just cannot stand the smell guys if I'm gonna be honest and I'm warning you with the smell so maybe wear a gas mask but you know we, what girls do to get rid of that hair? Clearly a lot of things. <laughs> and now I have two random hacks that are gonna help to stop the growth of your hair in your body or help slow it down at least. These are hacks that studies have actually shown. So, you know, sometimes, you know, it might not work for everybody, but studies have shown that these tend to help with slowing down the regrowth of hair. And one of them is drinking a glass of spearmint tea 
twice a day can help slow the regrowth of your hair if you keep doing that over time. And like I said with soy shaving products, it's actually said if you consume more soy products, whether that's soy burgers or soy milk, it's actually said that soy helps to slow down the regrowth of hair. So you best believe your girl is going to pick up some soy products because I cannot stand shaving or waxing or plucking or anything that has to do with hair. I just, I just, I need it gone. That is all for the hacks. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I know it was a little bit different, but I hope it's super useful for you guys because the struggle is so real to get rid of that hair. But that being said, I hope you guys enjoy it. Don't forget to go over to my social medias and don't forget to click that subscribe button to join the Nicolette's fam gym. But that being said, of course, I hope you guys are having a fabulous day, evening, or night whenever you're watching this and I'll catch you guys in my next video. Bye!